Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update, tracking a juicy storm system for Colorado. But first, that same storm is cutting and racing through Utah. Here's radar out of Salt Lake. We've got thunderstorms on radar. Let me take you in a little bit closer. In fact, there's a special weather statement right there for Salt Lake City, West Valley. Um, you can see the track on it. Uh, even picking up a little bit of spin there on that lower cell, that southern cell. Interesting. Um, but that's Salt Lake. And all that would then likely just slam into the Wasatch as snow. Will this be the one that puts Alta over the top to 900? We'll see. But this is the same storm that will be moving into Colorado. All right, let me show you my bullet points. So it's a juicy one. Could turn into an Albuquerque low and then throw heavy snow over the top of Colorado, mainly on the divide in Colorado and east less to the west. But certainly this is going to be heavy snow for areas above 6,000 feet. Foothills, western suburbs. I don't have heavy snow for Denver. It's going to be mainly rain. Denver's below 6,000. Southern suburbs, Palmer Divide, heavy snow. Colorado Springs, could see heavy snow. Pueblo, wet mountains, all of those areas. Monarch, ski area. Um, the Sand Grays, Cuchara, Raton Pass could all see heavy snow. Then there's a second storm system for 427 and 428 that will race out of Canada, down through Montana, Wyoming, and then roll through Colorado very quickly with another shot of snow. I wrote about it in my blog post, chrystomer.com. Juicy Colorado storm and second storm. So take a look at that. There are my forecast freezing levels for Colorado Central Mountains, the Daily Max and Men, and the Wasatch. I also put together a custom forecast for a peak down in the LaSalle's in southern Utah. It's in the comments section. So um, if you're interested, take a look at that. Forecast pattern. That was the jet stream forecast from this morning. Cut off low in California. Now this afternoon, it's further west in the update on 5.3. This is valid 5.3. It's further west, low velocity, disorganized flow over the Intermountain West, so not a lot happening there. That low off the coast of California is the biggest deal. That's really the only game in town. Um, so let's roll into the forecast timing. It's also on the blog. Here it is. Forecast radar satellite, Tuesday morning. Here comes our storm out of Salt Lake, Wyoming, diving into Colorado. Stop it right there. Wednesday morning at 6. The low is mature. It's down around Albuquerque or southern Colorado, somewhere in there. And it's throwing heavy snow over the top of the Continental Divide and east in Colorado, especially down towards Colorado Springs, the foothills, the Palmer Divide, the wet mountains, La Vida, um, all those places will be getting snow. And then it begins to move away. Then it's a waiting game. Here comes the next one, diving straight south by Friday morning. It's racing through Colorado. So that's the second low. And then that's kind of it. You know, the only other thing, like I showed you the jet through 5.3, is that cutoff low off the coast of California. If it stays out there, then there's nothing for the Intermountain West through 5.3 after that um, 427 storm. All right, my totals from this morning are right there. Um, here's what I'm thinking this afternoon. So I decided to go high end, 424 through 426, high end on these totals for um, the front range of Colorado, basically divide east, less west. Um, and there's definitely some spillover there in the Summit County, 10, 12 inches, potentially. But let me just take it, uh, let me go in closer. 3D model. There's, it's spun, so you're looking west. You're looking from east to west in Colorado. Downtown Denver right there, lower on the lower part of this graphic. Now, these are definitely high-end totals. Um, I've seen numbers uh, that are easily half of this. But this is the worst case scenario, in my opinion, for what we could see. Um, so looking at a you know one to two feet, under two feet, but generally a foot to foot and a half through the foothills of Colorado. That's what you're looking at. Areas above 6,000 will get the heaviest snow. That's mainly the foothills, the barrier of terrain to the west of Denver, running all the way up to A Basin, Loveland, Winter Park, less than the northern front range foothills, but still six, seven, eight inches. 
Um, Lakewood, west side of town, Golden, Morrison, the ranch. You can still see some wet snow out of this. Um, so that's the that's the worst case scenario. We'll look at it that way. All right, here is um, the second storm, 426, 427. Drops another up to six, seven inches right on the Continental Divide and east in Colorado. So, you know, potentially we've got the first storm and then this would be the second storm. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, afternoon update. We've got a juicy storm. We'll do an update for this again tomorrow. Take care. Thanks for tuning in.